welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorial so in this video i am deriving some of the relationships of the measurement of effective diameter by two wire measures let us start with the theory so measurement of effective diameter by two wire methods so that will be the important theory for mechanical measurement and the metrology subjects so the wires used made of the hardened steel to sustain the wear and tear so you can use for the longer period of time so it may be given high degree of accuracy and finished by lapping to suit the various pitches of the screw threads the effective diameter of the screw thread may be assured by placing a two wires or you can say rods of the identical diameter between the flanks of the thread so let us see the geometry of the two wire method so in this figure that will be the capital H that will be indicating as a over wire diameter capital Y that should be considering as a under wire diameter small d that will be indicating as a wire diameter which will be used for the measurements and the capital E that will be indicating as an effective diameter of a screw thread. So generally that will be the imaginary axis when the actual rolling of the external threads and internal threads. So now from the second figure it will be making the sum of the relations. So here O, G and C, D. So C and D that will be the point onto the flank of the thread. And that will be making a theta angle between the two flank of the threads and dividing that will be the theta by 2. So now see the derivation part of a two wire method for measurement of an effective diameter. So let us see over here capital E that will be the effective diameter, capital Y diameter under wire minimum capital H diameter over wire maximum and small d that will be the wire diameter. So now from the figure capital Y that should be equal to capital H minus 2 into d. So let p days be the pitch value which depends upon the pitch of the threads p and the wire diameter d. Then that will be like as a effective diameter that will be indicating as a y plus a to b distance so for the metric trace i would like to derive p dash that should be equal to 0 0.866 p minus d by this theory so now we will start with the derivation so here it will be the considering for the pitch value p dash so e is equal to y plus a b so a b is nothing but that will be the p dash value so considering over here triangle O D G from the geometry. So simply apply the sine rule. So sine theta by 2 equal to O D by O G. Now sine theta by 2 converting into cosec theta by 2. So that will be equal to O G upon O D because cosec x that should be equal to 1 upon sine x. So OG that will be equal to OD into cosec theta by 2 just you can see the OD that will be nothing but the radius of the wires or you can say D by 2 and made the equation number A. So finally you will get OG equal to D by 2 cosec theta by 2. So the considering the second triangle JAG now from the figure just you can see over here apply the tan rule so tan theta by 2 equal to aj upon ag now tan will be converting into the cot so cot theta by 2 equal to ag upon ag so now cot x that should be equal to 1 upon tan x we already know so ag that will be equal to aj into cot theta by 2 so now since ij lies onto the effective diameters so ij that would be equal to 1 by 2 into pitch so 
finally ij is equal to ia plus aj so both the values are same or we can say both the distance are same so that should be converting into twice into aj so finally you will get aj is equal to 1 upon 2 ij just put the value of ij and that will be 1 by 2 into p so finally you will get aj is equal to p by 4 so just put the value of aj into previous equations so finally you will get aj that should be equal to p by 4 cot theta by 2 so that will be mentioning as equation number b now from the figure oj that should be equal to ob plus bg just you can find from the figure now just you can make the side change so bg that will be equal to oj minus ob so now bg that will be nothing but d by 2 cosec theta by 2 and put the value of ob that will be nothing but radius of the wire or you can considering as a diameter by 2 so d by 2 so finally bg that should be equal to d by 2 common out so cosec theta by 2 minus 1 so it will be becoming the equation number c so now from the figure ag that should be equal to ab plus bg so finally ab is equal to ag minus bg so just put the value from equation b that will be ag p by 4 quad theta by 2 and bg for equa from equation number c d by 2 cos theta by 2 so you can use the equation number b and c and simplify for a b so now the new relation a b that should be equal to 1 by 2 into p dash so p dash equal to twice into a b because of the both the sides so just put the value of a b over here and simplify the equations so this expression for the pitch value p dash in terms of p diameter d and the thread angle theta so for the metric thread we already know theta equal to 60 we are using so just put the value of 60 into this equation p dash and finally you will get p dash equal to 0.866 into pitch minus diameter so you can say that p dash equal to 0.866 p minus d then the effective diameter can be calculated as a capital e that should be equal to y plus p dash so we already find the value of p dash by the 0.866p minus d but y that is a diameter under wire and p dash is the pitch value which is constant so just you can see the value of y can be calculated by using the floating carriage micrometer as below so let dm that should be equal to diameter over standard or you can say master cylinder ds The value of y can be calculated by using the floating carriage micrometer as follows so let dm that should be equal to diameter over standards or you can say master cylinder ds that should be equal to diameter over plug screw gauge and capital d that should be indicating as a standards or you can say master cylinder diameter so finally you will having a relations of the y with respect to standard master cylinders standard screw plug gauge and uh, master cylinder diameter so y is equal to ds minus dm plus capital d so i hope you understand then subscribe like and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials